Hey there! My name is Christine and makeup is a one size fits all. <laughs> makeup is one size fits all. Makeup is a one size fits all. Blendiful is the makeup applicator you didn't know you needed. This game-changing, soft, textured fabric tool is a blending dream that is designed to seamlessly apply and soften both liquid and powder products. The rounded edge and pointed tip help to provide the perfect blend step-to-step -step in your makeup application. Buff in foundation with little product waves, experience seamless contour, smoother concealer, and the most airbrush powder application, even those hard to reach areas of the face. Save products, save time, and become an expert artist of your own unique routine. However you choose to use the Blendiful, your look will be one with no harsh lines every time. XOXO. Hey guys, it's Patrick Starr. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are here to review the famous Blendiful by Tati Beauty. This has been going all around the internet, going viral. Um, even Charlotte Tilbury got to use it, and I am really intrigued to try it. This is the Blendiful. For those of you guys that don't know, it is a makeup applicator that is multi-purpose, multi-use across all different types of mediums, liquid powders, creams. I watched a couple of videos on Tati's channel. I did not watch anybody else's video. Influencer-wise, I've just seen it pop up on my Explore page on YouTube, but I'm really intrigued. I will say, first impressions from Patrick Star to you guys was, she does say that it's a cloth. This was the first question that came to mind was, will it be sanitary? Because for me, when I use the Beauty Blender, I wash it with soap every time and I can wring it out, press it in the towel, dry it out, whereas this is like a fabric. It says it right here, cleaning instructions. Machine wash and hand dry in delicate laundry bag or gently hand wash and warm soapy water rinse thoroughly and blot dry do not bleach and do not dry clean because you guys know I love full coverage foundation and I love my full coverage my Mac also I love Dior Air Flash she recommended it would look great with that she also did mention you can take a blow dryer and it dries really quickly I will be trying the hand wash and blow drying situation just to see because if I wash this every single time um, I don't know if I'm comfortable with it drying overnight. Sometimes I'm out the door and I don't have time to like think to like wash it because I'm getting dressed. You know, if I do my makeup, I'm getting dressed and I'm out the door. I'm not gonna be like, oh, let me dry it because it needs drying time. I I, I don't think that way. But hopefully, um, this works well on me. It looks really really great. Let me show it to you guys up close. This reminds me of that makeup eraser fabric. Just like first impressions. Um, if I were to benchmark like what I am familiar with as far as what this looks like, it's a beautiful kind of like almost like beauty blender shape it's not a heart like this one right here it has a beautiful satin strap it says tati beauty and i'm excited to use it and the idea is to use it in this fashion and use it this oh, i don't want to show my nails and use it this way and this corner is to get everywhere and the nooks and crannies and also smooth out really excited to try it too now if you look to me the direction that the fibers go in this direction you're actually putting it on kind of goes with that and you're not fighting against it where, yeah, look, I'll show you. If you guys go the opposite way, I have one nail left, I know. But if you guys see the opposite way, all the fibers kind of like go up. So I would recommend go in the fashion that the fibers are directed. The small one, same thing. It's cute, it's a heart, and I'm really excited to use this. I know you guys are wanting to see me do my full cake face. I'm actually gonna be visiting Chris and Dominique's pop-up shop today for Dominique Cosmetics, so I'm excited. And shout out to all the influencers that are coming out with brands. We have Tati Beauty, Dominique Cosmetics, Artist Couture, Dragon Beauty. Really excited to see. So without further ado, let's just beat this face. All right, so primer. It says step one, banish the appearance of pores and fine lines by using Using a pressing motion with a blurring primer. The primer that I'm using is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch by Fenty Soft Matte. And Tati's like this. I only have one of these, and she said that in her video that it would be cool to have different ones. So I'm gonna pat it basically right here where I have the most problems on my cheek area. And also, I like a little bit of this Soft Matte Primer. Now I'm out. Well, that's all we have. I'm just gonna go ahead and press this. All right, so I did my brows and concealed because obviously these little fluffy things don't have precise edges for the type of look I wanna achieve. So I did my brows, cut it with my brush, but for the face, I am taking the Dior Air Flash Foundation in the color 501. I spray it close to my face. I don't spray it far because it just gets everywhere. 
in one of my favorite foundations. And it is full coverage. And I like to layer foundations, so I feel like it'll be a good demo for me to show you guys because I will apply full coverage foundation on after. Oh, and then for foundation, it says, easily glide on foundation with a sweeping or buffing motion to achieve a flawless airbrush look. It's definitely a different feeling. And it's really large. This is so weird. I feel like I'm baking. <laughs> Cause you know this motion for me for years, or sweeping, it's a very much more sheer, it's really big and it's more so like flimsy. Cause I'm not used to like this type of applicator to be bent because it's just it's just really large. I'm not, I'm not mad at it, I'm just not used to it. Okay guys, so I see a more sheer coverage by doing this motion. I'm gonna go ahead and apply. My God, I wanna pick up a brush so bad, but that's not the point of the video. So what I wanna do is just take a little bit more on the cheeks and then let me try patting this in. Excuse my nails because I've been wanting a break from nails for a bit, so pardon that. And I've also been playing a little bit of piano, so. Okay. It doesn't look bad. I'm just not used to the application, but I have to get the desired coverage that I want. But as far as the skin goes, I feel like this is what I would normally get. I wish I can get a little closer to the brow. All right, now this is the ring dinger, okay? So I wanna try the MAC full coverage and this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it like how she does and dip it. Oh my God, this is so weird. Oh my God, do you guys see this? It's so like, Weird. I feel like I'm getting clothes dirty. I'm just gonna do this side to see what it looks like before I do the other side, but so far so good. I'm wondering, it's just like, because this is such a heavy product, I don't know if it's like coming off. And I'm just looking at the monitor right now, but I have to get the mirror up close. Oh my God, full coverage. All right, let's take a look in the mirror. Oh. All right, guys, that was such a weird experience because I feel like I, it, it's, it, it is very large and you guys know I love large products, but um, this one is it's so big. It fits like my, my big ass hand. Yeah, they are definitely saturated in the product. I really want to see if it'll wash this, this cream out. I have, I have no doubts, but I'm just interested to see because it's so much. Time for concealer. So step three, use the pointed to tip to easily lay down a smooth and even amount of concealer where precision is needed. And she still is using this one too. And the concealer that I'll be using today is Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm going to assume that it's okay to use the applicator. And everything that I'm using today is literally what I use on the daily. So nothing will be flawed, I, guess, I think, or skewed in regards to like new product. The only thing that I'm using new is the applicator. And all the products will be listed in the description. And I still may or may not have a discount code with Tarte Shape Tape because guys, I wanna tell you, this concealer is so good, definitely check it out. Okay, this is just like really, really minor, but if I fold it, right, and then I touch the sides of these like so, it's gonna bother me that it's getting on my hands. Like I'm the type of person, even when I'm eating like wings or something saucy, I don't like my hands dirty. That's just a personal preference. I just don't like the feeling of, of things on my hands. I've just realized that. But if I do, I would want to hold it lower, but for more precision, you can get more control by holding it closer to the, the tip. But I'm gonna try my best to hold it where I won't be touching products and use my pointer finger to press down. Oh, and also, I don't know if I mentioned the price. The price is $18 for both of these and it comes in a, in a pouch. Oh my god, it's hot here. Okay, okay. You know what I will say though? My fat ass don't have to get up to wet and wash my beauty blender. I can literally do this. Oh, and it literally blended my uh, concealer. I'm gonna try to get as close to the brows as I can. Guys, you see how smooth Oh my god, <gasps> wow, this is really smoothing. And you know the thing is too, I'm just taking care of my skin. So with that being said, that's my concern about like the whole washing thing. Like I don't do my laundry every day. I don't have the time to like clean this every day. So I think maybe getting a second one, if you can't afford it, like that's just not gonna be in your routine to like wash it and wait for it to dry. But then I'm thinking out loud, do I have time to wash it, get my blow dryer, plug it in, 
dry it for a few minutes. Whereas like the beauty blender, if I compare the two, is like I get to wash it, soap it, cleans it, wring it, and I can use it right away. That blow dry stuff is a little bit long. I'm just only talking about it because my skincare, I'm trying to take really good care of my skin. I'm just a little bit more on the paranoid side about like if the residue will be dirty. But oh my gosh, so far I am obsessed with it. All right guys, so the powder that I'll be using is the Ben Nye Banana Powder. I'm skipping step four contour because I don't cream contour. Step five powder, dip into your favorite powder and use a patting motion to lay down product for an airbrush locked and finish. But I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this banana powder in light before I crease even more because I have to, I crease really, really fast. Let's just see. Oh. I will say I saw some diagrams on people's thumbnails that have the map line for what to use what corner for. Now see this motion I'm used to, okay? I'm gonna fully saturate the puff here. I would actually use this as a puff. For a puff, it's literally second nature to me to use this. But using it with the cream in the liquid is so, still so new. Yeah, this most definitely, I love it as a puff. Tati knows me, she knows me. She said, let me get Patrick start with this one. With his big ass face. But I'm so gagged that I used just this to get this. I'm gonna treat this like as I do. I'm gonna do my eyes and I'll be right back. All right guys, my eyes are done. Like, am I a makeup artist or what? Like, oh my God, like. <laughs> By the way, speaking of makeup artists, I have a filter on Instagram, check it out. So this filter shows which beauty guru you are. All you gotta do is just go to my Instagram page, find the smiley face, tap it, try the filter on your Instagram and find out which one you are. I hope it's Patrick's daughter. Or Tati. All right guys, as you can see, the powder has not moved. It's been baking. I'm gonna go ahead and take the blender full and use my Born This Way foundation powder and kind of like knock that off. I really wanted to grab a brush to sweep it off. Like these little flyaways here. Fallout, like do you take a brush and take out fallout? Like I do not want to bake that fallout. So let me just cheat a little bit because no fallout here. This is how I do my makeup. I'm just taking this blendiful. Oh wow, it's picking up a lot. Wow, do you see? Oh my God, I love how full coverage that this can be, but without looking cakey. And I think, oh my God, this feels good. Yeah. This feels insane. I love the motion that you can do here with this. So the more I use it, the more I'm realizing that I'm loving the Blenderful for the powders just because it's so seamless. The full coverage part, I, I would have to do again, but this is more of like a powder piece for me if I were to purchase. This was sent to me, by the way. So next I'm gonna go ahead and take the NW25 uh, Studio Fix Powder Foundation, and I'm gonna take the corner like so, and then kind of bake this here. Ooh, this is where it's getting a little bit. Okay, wait, 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 hold on, let me. Okay, it's not bad. I'm just not used to the shape because the Beauty Blender is more sharp, so let me pinch it. I'm trying to like get my nose like right here. Okay, I love this powder, but it's not about the powder. I'm trying to find like a perfect positioning for this section of the face because this part is really snatchable for me. Yeah, it's snatchable, blendable. <laughs> this is a good video so I can speak to those that are particularly full coverage user just to show the amount of versatility and if this product pertains. But as a full cake user, we've already had the foundation, the Dior, the full coverage, the setting powder, the foundation powder, and now my highlight powder. So I think just to prevent like the cakiness, because then now I gotta wash it off because then what I don't want to do is then take the Dior on top of all of this again. So that's why washing the Beauty Blender and having a different brush per different foundation works because I just use so many layers of product, but this is not in the steps for her. Step five is like powder. Who you uses your favorite powder? But you know, Tati is that girl that is more of like natural. Let me see if I could do bronzer with this. Okay, so right here I have dark deep. I'm gonna go ahead and take this bottom half. Oh, you guys see what's going on? Okay, now if you're a drag queen, do you see what I'm doing right now? Oh my God, I mean, but do you see? Oh my god. I have a big ass face, y'all, and I'm doing it on this side. Do you see how fast that is? Oh my god. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. Wait a damn minute. Oh my god. Okay, now the one thing that I can I don't know if I'll be able to do is the nose. No, this is this is too thick for the nose. I'm so sorry. Like it's not gonna, even I'm looking at the the seam is right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's like a seam that attaches. It looks almost like an Oreo sandwich. This is not for the nose because there's not fibers on the end. So unfortunately, it's not gonna work for my nose. But for the cheeks, bitch, 
Yes, God. All right, guys, now for blush, I'm gonna go ahead and take like this corner, this bottom corner of the Blendiful. I'm like, this. Do we like it? I have to think about this one, but I'm not mad at it. It's just, it's just all so new. My face actually looks really freaking smooth. What do you guys think? I wish there was just more precision in this under eye part right here because that part was a little bit difficult. I think I just have to figure out a way to hold it in my hand where I can pinch it in the right way. But then let's move on to like a little bit of highlighter. Step six highlight. Taking an angle side dab on cream or powder highlight to the places you want to glow. By the way, these, the, the photography on this is so sickening and she looks flawless. So I'm going to go to take my Becca bronzed amber highlight and taking the little butt, the butt cheeks part on there and then let's just see and then I gotta go on this side okay one of my favorite highlights by the way before precision like on the nose I would not use it because this is not precise enough you know for that like little dot but on the forehead I'm mad I'm mad all right guys I'm gonna finish my makeup my lips mascara change into an outfit and I'll be right back for my final thoughts all right, everyone, this is the finished look. I am actually blown away by the skin. It was such a process, I think, for me to get to wrap my head around this being used, which is very much representative of a puff to me, on liquids and creams. And boy, am I really impressed with the smoothness. Let's zoom in. So as you can see, it's very smooth. It is very full coverage. It is very me. This is the look that I typically go for when it comes to glam. But also, I want you guys to see is the blendiful look how much I used it, and this is already my first time using it. The fibers here are already kind of like caked down. So just by the looks of this, if you are a full coverage girl like me and you want to use this, I would probably most likely recommend washing this. Another suggestion would be for me if you do not buy more than one because these two are $18 and you buy two sets just to get one more of these and why not one of these is to flip it inside out and use the other side while you have it and then do the same thing for the next day and then wash the whole thing at once. So with that being said, let's go ahead and test how long it takes to clean and dry one of these. <music> All right, guys, so I just washed it in the sink and it took a total of two minutes and 42 seconds, 51 something something nanoseconds. And this is it washed. There's still a little bit of like foundation, but it feels like new. I think for me, I would have to wash it right away because I wouldn't want my foundation sitting there. And you know, if it's a moist area, I don't want any bacteria to stay there. I think the hairs are okay, but they're like long synthetic fibers or fibers where like I can easily wash them every few days. Whereas like this is like a fabric and it's trapped on the inside, there's like a pocket. And you know, when people do those cutting videos, I don't want there for there to be any opportunity for any like little critters or germs to live in here or grow. That's my only concern. I would definitely recommend washing it through. So I don't know, I'm just like paranoid about that kind of stuff. So overall, I love this. This one, I would, I really didn't use this in the video. For me, I only use this for the highlighter, which was re what was recommended on the site. But I would definitely use this as like a touch up or to cut right here. I like the straight angle here for my nose. Let me show you. Like right here, if I was to do one of these, like on the nose, like that would be such a good thing. But I love this to like get here on the sides of my nose because they get oily the most. And also in the middle of my forehead, if I sweat, this is what that cute little heart one is for. I'll be definitely throwing this in my purse. But this I love for powders most definitely. I am just not used to it. I will continue to try it. Definitely recommend. I am surprised at the outcome of this. I did not, I swear, I did not use any brush besides my eyeshadows today and dusting off the fallout from the shadow just because I didn't want to bake any of that, you know, residual um, powder of eyeshadow onto my under eye, which who would want that look? But nonetheless, um, congratulations to Tati. Definitely check it out. I think it's a good deal. Those are my concerns. I did a wash test for you guys. So with that being said, if you guys want to see more videos like this, more reviews, more tries from Patrick Star's channel here in 2020, be sure to subscribe. Or remember, makeup is a one size fits all. I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye. Teed up my soul. You've heard it all before. Honest, but I know. Uh -huh. Left these.
years ago I was young and I'm old Still care for the